Hi there, I'm Micah, your tech support video assistant. Today I'm going to show you how to allow your M1 Mac to install the system audio component. Let's get started. First, if you haven't already, go ahead and turn off your Mac by clicking on the Apple logo at the top left, then choosing Shut Down. After your Mac is completely off, press and hold the power button until you see Loading Startup Options. Keep in mind, this might take a couple of seconds, so don't let go of the power button too soon. Once you've got recovery options loaded, click on Options, then click Continue. Wait while your Mac loads into macOS recovery mode, and then, once it's loaded, choose the option at the top left of your screen for the Utilities dropdown, then choose Startup Security Utility. In this window, you'll want to select your system drive, then click Security Policy. Under Security Policy, you'll need to switch from Full Security to Reduce Security and enable the first checkbox. Then, after clicking OK, you'll need to enter your computer password to apply the new security policy. Wait while your Mac makes the changes and applies the policy. And then, once it's done, Click on the Apple logo at the top left and choose Restart from the drop-down menu. After your computer restarts, log in and a new message stating that the system extension is blocked should appear. If it does, click Open Security Preferences. If you don't see that pop-up, go ahead and open System Preferences manually and head over to Security and Privacy. Once you're in the Security and Privacy settings, click on the General tab, then click the padlock at the bottom left and enter your password. At this point, you should see a dialog at the bottom of the System Preferences window asking you to allow Rogue Amoeba Software LLC to be used on your Mac. Click Allow. And that's it. You're at the final step now. Go ahead and click Restart to restart your Mac and finish the changes. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and we look forward to seeing what you create next.